Hello again, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Today I'm going to speak about a major subsystem from the air conditioning system, which it is the recirculation air system. This is a basic knowledge and this is a basic awareness regarding the aircraft system of air conditioning system. If you study the air conditioning system of any aircraft, you probably will study the recirculation air system. And you understand well that some air from the cabin will mix with the air coming from the air conditioning bags in a mixing manifold or a mixing chamber. This is why this is to reduce load on the engine air extracted or air sucked from the engine we need to decrease the load from uh, on this air and uh, we need to decrease the load on the engine to reduce fuel consumption and to reduce the load on the back and on the engine and on the engine okay so as you can see here my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance people that the recirculation air system is used to improve cabin ventilation and supplement airflow to improve cabin ventilation and supplement airflow how the recirculation system will improve cabin ventilation that we already take the air from the cabin and have this air filtered in a filter then going to the mixing chamber mix with new fresh air coming from the air conditioning bags and then supply again to the cabin so the recirculation system will improve cabin ventilation will improve cabin ventilation and supplement airflow the cabin recir air sorry the cabin air recirculate back into the passenger cabin yes we take some air cabin air recirculated back into the passenger cabin filter and then going to the mixing chamber mix with air from the air conditioning bags then go back again to the cabin zone probably we will have three cabin zone like flight deck zone forward cabin zone and the aft cabin zone this recirculated air mixes with conditioned air from the cooling bags in a mix manifold Mix manifold always called the mixing chamber, okay, or or a mix area. The mix chamber mix air coming from the cabin with air coming from the backs, from the backs, okay. So how we can have the air from the cabin into the mixing chamber? Thanks to the recirculation fans recirculation fans okay so this result in an equal mixture of fresh conditioned air and recirculation air and it to, that will decrease the load on the air from the bleed system or from the engine the use of the recirculated air improve air flow without placing undue loads the use of recirculated air improves airflow without placing undue loads on air supply system this reduction in engine loading so the function of recirculation air system in the air conditioning system that we recirculate some air from the cabin and this will reduce load on the engine the bleed air we take from the engine will be decreased the fuel consumption now will be decreased so this reduction in engine loading is converted into a fuel saving within the engine fuel supply. For example, less conditioned air required, that meant less fuel burn required. Again, the function of free circulation air system, this meant that we have less conditioned air required from the air conditioning bags and from the engine or bleed system so that will result in a less fuel burner required less fuel burner required okay my fellow pilots my fellow aircraft maintenance people 
let's proceed as you can see here this is a typical air recirculation system we have this is the left back left cooling back okay and right back both back supplied from the engine or bleed system supply from engine or bleed system thanks to the back flow control valve back flow control valve the backs yes is an air cycle machine turbo compressor air cycle machine and the heat exchanger consists probably from a primary and secondary heat exchanger the air coming from the engine or bleed system will be cooled down by ram air by ram air this is ram air inlet flap and ram air outlet flap okay and the back will do its job for basic temperature regulation basic temperature regulation thanks to the air cycle machine and to the heat exchanger okay then air supplied from the left back left back like this and air supplied from the right back okay will go to the mix manifold mix manifold or what it called mix chamber mix chamber or mix manifold okay then in the mix manifold or mix chamber fresh air from the condition conditioning bags will mix with air coming from the cabin thanks to the recirculation air or recirculation fan probably we will have two recirculation fan this is one recirculation fan and the other recirculation fan recirculate the cabin air okay through a filter and the air from the cabin will mix with air from the backs inside the mix manifold inside the mix manifold and the, probably the pilot will select the temperature for the different zone like forward zone or cockpit forward cabin and aft cabin cockpit forward cabin and aft cabin so we have three zone okay so which component will supply directly the air back into the cabin is the mix manifold mix manifold and as the back do operate for basic temperature regulation for basic temperature regulation so we must have a trim air system because for example if the pilot select like cockpit for 18 degree forward the cabin for 22 or aft cabin for 25 so the back probably will operate to supply basic temperature and operate both back for the 18 degree but we need for the forward cabin and aft cabin more high temperature so we must have the trim air system as you can see here before the back we take some air or bleed air hot air okay from this line and from this line going like this through one master trim air pressure regulating valve and the three trim air valve to supply hot air to the air coming from the mix manifold okay probably now the back will produce 18 degree for the cockpit so the trim air valve for the cockpit will be closed but the trim air valve for the forward zone and aft zone will be open to add hot air to increase the temperature in forward cabin and aft cabin from 18 to 22 or from 18 to 25. This is for example my fellow pilot. So if you focus here on this four valve is one main trim air pressure regulating valve at the three trim air valve which it is called hot air system hot air system so the main component here from this schematic my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel is the mix manifold recirculation fans okay and the backs okay this is the hot air system again this is the hot air system this is the mixing chamber or mix manifold and this is the recirculation fans 
which is the main component of free circulation system free circulation system so as you can see here the figures that we already see represent a typical recirculation air system and we understand now what is the function of the recirculation air system to decrease load on the engine to decrease the bleed load and to to decrease fuel consumption the system consists of a separate left and right units which is the backs each with its own recirculation fan we have two recirculation fan probably the air recirculated from the cabin goes through a filter ducting and recirculation fan check valve what is the function of the recirculation fan check valve okay as you can see here this is the recirculation fan check valve okay recirculation fan check valve okay as if the fan stop okay prevent air from going back okay so air flow from the passenger cabin air flows from the passenger cabin toward the mixing manifold the recirculation fans and draws the used air through a filter arrangement and the check valve into the mixing manifold as you can see here this is the recirculation fan draw air from the cabin recirculation air through a filter and a check valve and allow this air to go to the mix manifold to mix with air coming from the air conditioning back air conditioning back okay so the recirculation fan then draws the used air through a filter arrangement and the check valve into the mixing manifold this air is mixed with new conditioned air and then directed back into the passenger cabin zones yes after the mixing manifold or mixing chamber the mix manifold or mix chamber will allow the mix air from the cabin and from the back to go to the three zone like cockpit forward the cabin and the aft cabin cockpit forward the cabin and the aft cabin probably back one will supply cockpit and the back two will supply forward and aft cabins forward and aft cabins okay so the check valve are fitted to prevent a reverse flow through the recirculation fan when the fans are not running yes we are having here one check valve if the fan is not running okay so this will prevent reverse flow this is the function of that check valve again the check valve are fitted to prevent a reverse flow through the recirculation fan when the fans are not running okay my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance people so as you can see here this is a schematic to show you the mix manifold or mix chamber mix manifold or mix chamber this is from recirculation air fan or from cabin from recirculation air fan or from the cabin go to the mix chamber and this is from air conditioning backs okay so in the mix chamber air from the cabin mix with air from the air conditioning backs and there must be swirl swirl devices inside the mixing chamber to mix good or increase the quality of mix air from the cabin with air from the air conditioning backs then from the mix chamber air will go to the cabin zone like three zone is the mix chamber okay mix chamber then after that air will go okay to the three zone like cockpit forward cabin and aft cabin okay mixing manifold and the ducting arrangement so the air on entering the mixing chamber create a centrifugal flow within the mixing chamber this action ensures that the recirculated air from the cabin and the new air from the air conditioning bags are correctly mixed by using swirl devices within the mixing man manifold within the mixing manifold okay my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance people in this short minutes 
From this nugget, we understand now the function of the recirculation system as a subsystem in the air conditioning system. This, is what, this was a basic knowledge. It's not intended for certain aircrafts. But we answer now a major question, what is the function of the recirculation system? And what is the main component of the recirculation system in an air conditioning system? If you ever been asked what is the function of the recirculation system, you can easily say that to decrease fuel consumption and to decrease fuel load on the aircraft or to decrease fuel consumption and decrease load on the bleed system. The recirculation system makes air from the cabin with fresh air from the air conditioning bags. The recirculation system increases cabin ventilation and increases cabin fresh air. Okay. In the next session, I will go deep inside the air conditioning system and in the next session, I will describe the ventilation system. Ventilation system. And I will describe also the supply of air conditioning system into the cabin zone. Into the cabin zone. Again, this was a performance support tool or a performance support session intended to increase your understanding regarding basic knowledge of air conditioning system. Please don't use for flight and always consult your formal manual like flight crew operating manual, flight crew training manual, and aircraft maintenance manual. Your host was Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Please don't forget to subscribe to my aviation nuggets and stay tuned for my next session. Thank you, have a good day and I will meet you again very soon. Bye-bye.